beautiful people. It is your baby mama, favorite baby mama, Stormy P. And this is another episode of Chocolate Chip and Sip, the modern day female perspective. Damn son, back at it again. And I'll back at it again um, at Seven Studios. Y'all know Seven the dog. If he come through panting, um, he feeling himself. You know, this weekend he, he got a little bit of fame and it's going straight to his head. Not going to lie. He's been walking around with his nuts out, acting crazy. Okay. Uh, but all that aside, serious question. Um, you whores got them gray sweatpants on yet or no? No, it's not time enough for that. No, I'm just, it's, it's a genuine question. Like, and here's my whole thing. I know y'all know that I know that you know that I'm looking. So what the fuck? Okay. Here's the thing. I'm not going, I'm not going to like hold no punches. I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Gray sweatpants season. Your girl be looking. Okay. I'll be looking like no look bill with the, <laughs> That be me. Every time you walk by, it's either this strong or I hit you with the little Kim. Oh, snap. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I'll be one, two step in my ass all the way up and down these streets because you got it on because you want me to see it. Like, in my mind, slut. <laughs> yeah. This episode's yeah. impressive. What you, what you wearing for if you don't want me looking? If you ain't want me looking, why you got it on? That's your an name, honest question. Your name, this one's Fat Pan P. <sighs> I'm just saying, like, after, like, once it starts smelling like stepdaddies outside, that's when I know it's gray sweatpants season. Yeah. 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 That's when I know. That's when I know it's here. It's the most wonderful time of the year, honestly. It's the most wonderful time of the year. Is that Buble? Is that Buble? I don't know. But, yeah. Just let me know. I feel like this is around the time that it should start. But for whatever reason on the East Coast, it's like still 80 degrees. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Like, this is not pumpkin patch weather. But I digress. Um, Listen, I wanted to get into a few things with y'all today. Um, And one of it really just popped back up out of nowhere. So, a clip is going viral of me saying that I don't want to go to a restaurant on a first date with a man. Right? So, this clip went viral. A few months ago from me over at eight at the table, shout out to eight at the table. But for whatever reason, it popped back up on like all the sites again of me saying that I don't want to go out to eat as a first date. I don't want to go to a restaurant. Right. And before I say anything, I just want to say I said what I said. (laughs) Okay, there was no mistake there. I said what I said. I don't want to go out to eat as a first date. Now, I feel like the reason why I got a little muddy. So I just wanted to take some time to explain that, right? So first, I'm very much team solo date, right? So A, if I'm going on a date with someone, I don't want to go to a place that I go to by myself. That's the first one. I don't want to go out to eat because I really go out to eat by myself. I'm team solo date, right? So the second thing is, I don't want to go to the same spot. You took your last five heifers. (laughs) Why would I want to do that? We need to be creating new experiences. And when I say creating new experiences, I'm saying like, I would rather go to mini golf, bowling, gym. Y'all know I'm in the gym every freaking day. I would love to go to a gym as a first date, like a museum, a sip and paint, candle making. Like there are so many other things you can do that will get you in the group chat way faster than going on a date to a restaurant. And my whole thing is, To the ladies that was trying to eat me up in this comments, like, you need to speak for yourself, sis. You need to worry about what you want. If you hungry and you just going on dates to eat, just say that. Just say that. (laughs) Because that's what it's given. It's given very much you're hungry and you're just going on dates to eat. Because why are you so angry? (laughs) Why are you so angry? Baby, if you require mediocrity and everything that comes with the first date in a restaurant, just say that. If you're hungry, just say that. Because I'm not hungry. And when I am hungry, I can eat by myself. So I'm not pressed to go on a date with a man to a restaurant. Now, what I would like is to create a new experience with this new person that I'm running into. So we can have our own things to discuss. And I feel like (sighs) eating the same biscuits just ain't going to do it for me. Now, to the men that was trying to eat me up in these comments, right? Y'all be the same Negroes on Al Gore's internet talking about you sick of women who only want to go out with you to eat. You're sick of women who only want to go out to eat and post the food, but not post you. Okay, so why not go out and do something where you both can enjoy yourself and walk away clean if you don't enjoy each other's time? Because if you take sis out to eat and you don't enjoy yourself, 
you just spent two to three hundred dollars on a stranger for nothing <laughs> for nothing like what is happening here if you go out to eat with a girl and you are not enjoying yourself and you don't want to see her again you just spent two to three hundred dollars on a stranger for nothing that's crazy to me and I just want to reiterate like I said from the beginning I said what I said but the fact that it's become so viral that's the part I really don't get because a I don't understand why y'all so mad about what I choose to do for my first dates that's the first thing the second thing is I don't think y'all realize that there are really way faster ways to get in the group chat than taking sis to a $400 date like I guarantee if you say, yo, meet me here at this location, just wear something comfortable and you got like a full like picnic set up, like sis will put you right in that group chat. Oh my God, look at this shit. Like, especially if she really likes you. If she really likes you, my nigga, you just gained five cool points off the rip for nothing, for nothing other than buying a Target basket and bringing a lunch meat you got in the, in the refrigerator. <laughs> That's it. That's it. So I don't know. I just wanted to tap in on that because at the end of the day, like, if you used to basic people, you're going to get basic things. And to me, I feel like that's what some of it was giving. Some of it was giving. And now, like, I'm not going to hold y'all. I love all y'all and I appreciate all y'all. Y'all do not have to tag me in them videos when niggas is tearing me apart. Because I am never going to respond. <laughs> One of the reasons I'm not going to respond is nine times out of ten, I have a larger following than they are. And I just want to say you're welcome. <laughs> There's nothing else for me to tap into that. Like, you know, that's it and that's all. But... Like I said, I don't care. I don't want to go in a restaurant as a first date. Like, it's just not fun to me. I would rather create a new unique experience with this new person that I'm running into on my own. Like, I ain't going to hold you. Like, and then another thing is like, it's always tricky trying to right off the bat figure out if this person eat the same way you eat when you go out. It's like, ah, <sighs> He gonna try to take me to Applebee's. I know he gonna try to take me to Applebee's. I ain't been to Applebee's since I was 22. God damn, right? Nothing wrong with Applebee's. It's just not, not my, that's not where I eat, right? And it's nothing wrong with Applebee's. I used to love me a little two for 20. I'm not gonna lie. I used to go to Applebee's after praise dance practice every Friday. I ain't care. It was great for me then. It's just not for me now. That's all. Kid AKD says, I still got those lamb chops just saying. You know what's crazy? That other clip went viral saying I want some lamb chops and I still ain't getting none. Not I'm not gonna say people didn't offer people offered, but it, it wasn't a good offering. It it also came with a side of ass and I didn't oh, oh, I just wanted the lamb chops. Um Miss B and P says, I'd rather take a walk in a park, go get ice cream, anything but a dinner. Exactly. Like Another thing is when people spend a certain amount of money on you, they expect certain things from you. And I'm not saying it's coochie like that's wild. I would never put that into the atmosphere. But what I'm saying is sometimes people expect a certain amount of time, a certain amount of consistency, maybe even a fucking text back. Like, no, it's not. It's that. Right. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I'm challenging all of you to broaden your horizons and think of other things to do on a first date. Other than going out to eat. Like, oh my God, that's so basic. Like, it's basic. It's basic. Like, I would much rather you be like, yo. you Like, for example, if you're in the Philadelphia area, October 13th, Franklin Institute is having a Friday at the Museum. It's kind of like a night at the museum thing, but it's like after hours, so we have booze, drinks, like little costume tricks and treats and stuff for adults though. To me, that would be a bomb ass date. If you're telling me like, yo, I want to see you, we can hang out on a Friday. I would much rather do that than go out to eat. Like, it's just not it for me. Weirdo Leak says, why go on a date with a nigga if you're not texting him back? Well, during the course of that date, I might've decided I don't want to text this nigga ever again. <laughs> Like, sometimes that's where you find out he's not going to get a text back. The whole point of the date. Yeah, that's the point of the date. Uh, Mr. White 02 says, just asking, are we aware of your preferences for first dates? Yeah, so I said that a little bit earlier. Like, you know, I'd rather go out for a museum, for a walk, to the gym, to a sip and paint, mini golf, bowling, uh, fucking ping pong, anything. You know, something fun. Something fun. And yeah, I think that's what I'm, maybe that's what I'm forgetting to say. If we're going out on a first date, I'd rather do something fun. It needs to be an activity. That's it. That's it. That's it. And that's all. Um, so this really leads me to my next point, right? So a lot of times the things that I say on my podcast go viral. And it's always 
a nigga who got a fucking picture as a cat as his profile picture or anime as his profile picture. Yeah, y'all know who I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Every time one of my clips goes viral, it's always some man who has anime as his profile picture saying women shouldn't be taking advice from single women. Every time. Oh, no, no, no. No. Buckle up, fellas. No. Buckle up. No, because I got something to say, Dre. Buckle up. Buckle up. Buckle every up. time. Okay. <laughs> every time. Every time. Every time one of my clips goes viral. It's always some man who has an anime picture as his profile picture that says women shouldn't take married advice from single women. I don't like that. And I'm going to tell you why I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that because it's coaches out here that ain't never been in the league. Oh, that's different. <laughs> oh, that's different. <laughs> it's coaches out here that ain't never checked ball for one minute, one second in a professional game, but I'm the bad guy. We can listen to the coaches, but we can't listen to me. I'm confused. I'm confused. And I know some of y'all like, oh, you reaching now. You reaching now. Two words. Two words. Two words. Greg Popovich. <laughs> Crazy. Greg Popovich. <laughs> it's coaches that ain't never been in the league. Two words, Greg Popovich, all right? She got to be stopped. I'm just saying, am I lying? Am I lying? Y'all going to sit here and tell me Greg Popovich ain't that nigga? Like he ain't him? Y'all going to tell me Greg Popovich ain't him? How? How? Greg Popovich ain't never playing the NBA. He ain't never playing the NBA. Am I lying? Fellas, check in. Did Greg Popovich ever play in the NBA? No. I feel like you're no. cheating with this, with this argument. Five NBA championships with the Spurs. You're reaching with unarguable facts. I'm saying <laughs> five NBA championships with the Spurs. Okay? We're we, we, we going to negate that. We're going to negate that. You can't okay? argue with facts. That's what I'm saying. One of five coaches in the NBA with five or more NBA you championships. you reaching with facts. Like, that's crazy. But, but what are we talking about? I'm going to let you live. What are we talking about? Podcast. Exactly. <laughs> NBA is an all-time leader in combined wins. What are we talking about? What are we talking about? It's a Popovich party. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It's a Popovich party. What's up? What's up? Number one in most consecutive regular seasons. Winning. Winning regular seasons. What are we going to do? Your thumbnail should be back-to-back -back with Popovich. Listen, I, I feel like I should make a thumbnail to me back-to-back -back with Popovich. Like, what's up? What's up? Call me Popovich P. That's what I want. <laughs> Call me Popovich P. That's it. Okay, so my marvelous life said he had the best power forward ever and the fourth best C ever. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about none of that. Because she don't know what you're talking about. Yes, I, I do. Power forward and center. I know. I know. See, they be thinking I don't know, but I know. She don't know. I do know. Reach it with but what facts. I'm saying, what I'm saying is. Y'all love to say, y'all shouldn't be listening to single women for married advice. Baby, those who can't do, teach. <laughs> you ain't never heard that? <laughs> you ain't never heard that? Those who can't do, teach, okay? Now, don't get me wrong. I know he played a little bit of pro, I think, for the Army or something like that. But listen, this is my Army then, <laughs> okay? Th this is me, okay? And honestly, y'all not paying attention to what's most important, okay? You ain't know what, what Hove say? Hove went through that. So hopefully you ain't have to go through that. <laughs> All right? I'm out here living and doing the work for y'all. <laughs> You're welcome. Hove is crazy. It's a Popovich party. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Hold on, wait. Let me type in with the live, y'all. I wasn't. <laughs> um, Five Swift One says, I took Parker at 17 and made him a Hall, Hall of Famer. What? Yo, why are y'all like this? Skip to my loose 712 says, Coach P, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Listen, y'all can uh, argue with somebody else. All I'm saying argue is. Argue with your mama. Yeah, argue with your mama. Not me. All I'm saying is, um, facts is facts. <laughs> Those who can't teach, call me Popovich P. What's up? <laughs> now, all I'm saying is, 
Another thing y'all need to pay attention to, a lot of times when these single women be giving y'all advice, it's because we really been through that crap and we don't want y'all to go through that crap. We didn't recognize the red flags and now that we got our red flag glasses on, we trying to give them out to y'all and we dropping gems and letting y'all know what to look out for and who's low-key a fuckboy and who's in camouflage. That's all I do. All I do is get out here and show y'all the signs, <laughs> okay? All you have to do is look. <laughs> Because we are out here trying to give y'all the tips. We trying to give y'all the tricks, y'all okay? Hard-headed. The lowdown. In the lab sports set, push your pee. <laughs> <laughs> Told you, that this pee is, go crazy. Listen. Oh, you, I digress. <laughs> Speaking of things to look out for, you know, I always like to step in and give you my little, I don't know if they're red flags of the week, but it's always my little tidbits, you know? My little things I like to insert halfway through. Um, and... Sometimes it's things to look out for. Sometimes it's things that I'm just things that I'm just looking for. And I don't think it's hard acts or like hard requirements. But for whatever reason, people really be... I'm a lady, excuse me. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but for whatever reason, people be acting like it's so hard to like meet or do or you know, accomplish, right? That burp was crazy. I tasted it a little bit. Oh, Excuse snap. me. Sorry. Um, it's, a, it's a chili chip <laughs> Um. So, yeah, the first thing is like, yo, consistency is king. Hitting me up one a day like I'm a vitamin just ain't going to do it. Like, what? <laughs> the, way, the way that y'all be trying to, what you doing me one a day or good morning me one a day, like, Baby, do I look like a one-a-day vitamin to you? So, so the conversation starts and for some strange reason it ends? Like the conversation Yeah, because just... there's no conversation. Because oh, okay. all you do is hit me with good morning, what you doing? Good morning, what you doing? Good morning, oh, what thing? you doing? Yes, it is. Oh, snap. Yes, it is. And it's like, once again, I can't front because if it's working, the men are going to continue to do it. So I don't 1,000% blame Yeah, but men. the internet been complaining about that for, for like a couple months now. You think we really listen to what the internet complain about? Y- y'all hard-headed, though. <laughs> Like, it's hard because I, I can't blame men because if it's working, they're going to keep doing it. But what I will say is, like, yo, I mean, even when I, even, even, even I would try to sneak two Flintstone vitamins a day when I was younger. Like, baby, what's up? Them drones go crazy. <laughs> what's up? Them drones been crazy. Like, damn, can, can I get another pink? They went real crazy with the gummies. Can you slap me a purple real, too? Real like, what's real. up? So the fact that y'all really be trying to text me, these women, these men, <laughs> Once a day is crazy because it's, what footing are you trying to gain here? What, what, one day when someone texts me like, hey, good morning. One day I'm just going to say like, yo, she sleep, bro. And just block them. <laughs> <laughs> because I feel like, <laughs> I feel like I've done all that I can do. This has to stop. This has to I feel stop. Like I- I feel like I've done all that I can do. Like at this point, <laughs> if we're not making any headway, niggas can't say good morning now. That Damn. okay, and, and let me let me clear that up. It's not that niggas can't say. It's not that men can't say good morning. It's not that men can't say good morning. What else? <laughs> Have some substance. Yeah. Have a little meat with them potatoes. <laughs> like, I like that. It's, it's it's the good morning isn't enough. And if you're one of those people who is just like consistently texting good morning, I'm not going to lie. Switch it up. Say good afternoon. <laughs> like, fuck it. Just do something different. <laughs> please. Please. Do something different, right? And I understand that good morning is a salutation. We start with good morning. But once I respond with good morning, the next message from you can't be what you're doing. <laughs> something else. Morning shit, please. nigga. <laughs> what's like, yo, what's for breakfast? What you got going on today? When's the next time I can see you? Like, I... The fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Like, and then that's the thing. Like, yo, men, do y'all know what to text after good morning? Not even trying to be smart. Do y'all know what to text after good morning? Like, is this a safe space? Do y'all know what to text after good morning? Because for some reason, a lot of y'all think it's what you're doing. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it. That ain't it. 
Jet five five nine six eight one two says, "Yo, at this point, good morning is almost played out." Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Like, bro, one day spice some shit up. Send me Buenos Dias. <laughs> I'll even take away those dears. Like, fuck it up. Hit me with, yo, send me some spicy stuff. One day, just switch it up. Send me bonjour. Oh, <laughs> now we're in the game. <laughs> like, this means other things. He's trying, ladies and gentlemen. He's trying. But when you just hit me with good morning, baby, that ain't it. That ain't it. I don't want it. I'm exhausted. I've exhausted all my options. That's it. And that's all. Um... Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all. I was trying to keep up with the live. Um, yeah, man. It's, it's really the one-a-day vitamin for me. I can't do it. I just want to go back to that because, like, niggas really be trying to check in once a day. Like, I'm a vitamin. Like, bro, what else is it? What else? What else we got going on here? What else? Um, speaking of what else, I feel like things can be said on both parties. Things we can do better when it comes to communicating. Um, a lot of times, men, you can follow up with something better than what you're doing. You can follow up with something better than good morning, number one. But, you know, we, we, we can do better. Ladies, it's some things that we can do better when it comes to communicating. And once we get that down packed, I feel like we can accomplish more things. Ladies, I think we can do a better job of establishing clarity. When we're dating people, Ladies, I think we can do a better job of establishing clarity. For example, if a woman ever asks you, so what we doing? Baby, it's somebody else. <laughs> it's somebody else. And she's trying to be sure of what y'all doing so that she's not disrespecting what y'all got going on. Like when she says, so what we doing? <laughs> you better man up or move around because it's somebody here. <laughs> You about to fuck around and find out. It's somebody here and you finna fuck around and find out, okay? That's I don't care how many dates y'all went on. I don't care how many times y'all done bump bellies, all right? If she asks you, so what we doing? Somebody else is sniffing around. And she's trying to be respectful. So I just want to say, ladies, it's a better way for us to get clarity and be respectful, okay? Are we asking what these people's intentions are before we start dating? Are we making sure that we are standing and abiding by our standards and guidelines? Or are we trying to prove that our pussy pink and our booty old brown? Like, come on, y'all. We got to be <laughs> we gotta be real <laughs> with what we're actually doing up here, okay? Because we can say we have these intentions and we have these standards, but are we really living by them? Based on a few of my group chats, I know that us as a whole and women, we not really living by them. But this, once again, this is us getting better. This is us getting better and this is us getting better. So, um, ladies, I just want to say once again, it's better ways to get clarity than asking. So what we doing? Because honestly, I don't care how you say it. The man automatically takes that as an ultimatum. Even though you never gave him an ultimatum, you never told him this is what you got going on and or this is what it's going to be or I'm out. You never said none of that. For whatever reason, so what we doing? It's like, oh, this bitch is trying to trap me. Oh, <laughs> and they're going to say That's the same crazy. thing every time. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I thought we was having fun. I ain't really trying to look for nothing serious. Like, I'm saying, like, we was vibing. Like, My you know? whole thing is, if you have to ask that question, then it is what it is, family. You shouldn't really have to ask that question. I'm not mad at that. You I'm really, not mad at that. Honestly, if, it, if it's real, like, you should just know. Shot, you can't be up here trying to give logical advice because you gotta remember, everybody don't date like you. Everybody doesn't date mean? with purpose. I'm an adult. Everybody's not a good person, <laughs> okay? Everyone's not an adult. I so, that, I, I, I thank you. And thank you for backing me up. But I want you to know, it's about... See how this goes, guys? I got a mic today, <laughs> right? And I and I set this shit up. And now she's telling me to shut up. I didn't say shut up. I didn't say well, shut that's up. that's what I heard. I just so. didn't want to invalidate the people's experience. I mean, that's wild. Because you like, represent like 2.5% of people. And... All right. <laughs> <All that person. laughs> now, but, but, no, he was right, though. He, he was right. Shad said, if you're on a live, you can't hear. Shad said, if you have to ask that question... Then nine times out of ten, you already know what it was, and it wasn't serious. And I said, yeah, that's cool, but number one plague across America right now is communication. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Niggas don't know how to communicate. Like, men, women, children, baby, aunt, teachers, politicians, funeral home directors. Nobody knows how to communicate, okay? Nobody. So, you're not wrong, but um, 
Yeah. <laughs> D-Rob314 says, Cole G, a minority. <laughs> <laughs> so that nigga's shirt. <laughs> Forget the other guy. Yo, <laughs> you too late. Yo, nah, you too late. Truth. I don't know if you said him something or not, but I hope it's you did because nah, it's too late. you didn't. That's it. The DMs is flooded <laughs> now. Send that, that nigga's shirt. Send that nigga's shirt. Shot, you just gonna send everybody a shirt. Yep, because they ain't buy it. I ain't paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> I am crying. But yeah, I don't know. I think that... You um, said about that. So as a man, what what would be how you would want a woman to achieve clarity from you? You're asking me? Yeah. Um, um Mr. Oh, and when it dealt. How she, how she should achieve clarity I don't understand the question. I'm sorry. Can you rephrase that? Like if for whatever reason she wasn't certain about where, what your position was or what y'all had going on. Like if you don't want her um, to say so what we doing, what do you want her to say? Um again Let me let me see. So if she feels as though she has to ask that question, then again I'm gonna <laughs> okay, you think about it. No, it's because it's like, I'm going to think about like, yo, like, okay, so what am I doing that's making her ask that question? Mm-hmm. So it's like, what do you mean? Yeah. I'm going to be confused. Like, well, I mean. I well, that's not assuring at all. Yeah. Like, I thought I was clear about <laughs> what, how I felt. So like, I thought that's, knew that's just me though. Like, I don't know we how. Yeah. I thought I kind of knew. I kind of thought we were on the same page already. So it's kind of like, that. I would be a little confused. So like, if she did, I would, I would really just add more her to be like. I'd rather her just say, like, yo, I'm feeling you, this, that, and the third, blah, blah, blah. How do you feel? Or just kind of like... That usually isn't it, though. It's usually like, yo, I'm feeling you. I like where things are going. I just want to know, so what we doing? Yeah, but like, you know, I, I respect honesty, so like, I'm heavy on that. I respect honesty. You see that? That's why I said this nigga's a minority. Yo, see, like, okay, that's why I'm like talking. That's talking why I'm thinking about, about what I'm saying, because you're going to be a <laughs> bitch-ass nigga. <laughs> Where my dog at? You like, know what? I'm happy that fucking Shad does have a mic so y'all can hear how many times he calls me a bitch ass nigga. Yeah, because you, you hear how much of a bitch ass nigga she Jet 5596812 says, especially if the man is getting all the benefits without the title or the commitment. Exactly. So what usually happens is you have somebody else that might come sniff around that, you know, courts in a different manner that, you know, makes you a little moist down under and you're like, yo, maybe I'm in a position where I don't want to be, you know, Passing out the poo ninety to two people. But we so went the like, whole season of fl- red flags, huh? memes of red flags, and that was like main thing. Like you already, you should know what it is. Intentions are everything. We we went through a whole season of purpose. I don't know who needs to hear this. Like this is crazy. <laughs> we went through a whole meme season of purpose. Like what, what were y'all looking at? I don't know who needs to hear this, but the internet is not a real place. Okay. <laughs> so Shy said we went through a whole season of memes about red flags. Yes, we did. And you know what else we went through a whole season of? The fucking government telling us how not to get exposed to COVID. Yeah. And you know what we did? Went to concerts. Okay. <laughs> we went to clubs. All right. We went to hookah lounges. Just sharing the hookah. Blowing it in people's face. So it's like we can't say that we know better or that the internet tells us better because... We'll be listening to that shit. But the people who be doing the shit be posting it. That's the that's the crazy part. Oh, like, nigga, that's, that's what I'm saying. Oh, yo, is it's it a just blind me? being a blind out here? I'm not gonna lie. Every once in a while, I just be having to unfollow people because it really just be getting under and they my don't even skin. Be dead. Like you're not even about this life for real. Like shut up. Like you're not in these streets dating. Like I don't know. You think people feel that way about me? Do you think, be, yo, real shit, if y'all listen to this, y'all think I just be talking on my ass when I be telling y'all about these nah, dating stories? No, your drawings stories? are too far. Your drawings is too crazy. It's too crazy it's to be too, fake, too, huh? Yeah, they're too crazy not to be, like, true. Like, <laughs> like the nigga with the no reverse. Like, come on, <laughs> <bro>. like, <laughs> Oh, you know what? Um, Apology Bay, the rapper boy, yeah. he uh hit me up today. Now, we haven't spoken in a few weeks. Mm. He hit me up today, and he was like, but you know, I'm short. Because, like, we, we, I, I don't know if I told you, but... Or I don't know if I told y'all, but we had a conversation where I was a little lit and it didn't go the way I wanted it to go because I was a little lit. So I was like oh, a little no. bit more blunt that I wanted to. It was like, yo, I just feel like I'm doing too much and I feel like Nikki Party, I'm off the shit, <laughs> right? So, and then I, I actually think I said, I told y'all you want no fucking pen pal and you're not making no time to see me, so I'm good. <laughs> so, fuck. I don't know. Something along those did. lines that I just was not proud of because I could have articulated my be- myself better if I was sober. So he was like, all right, well, you know, um, whatever. We didn't speak. He like responded to like a few of my stories or something like that. But I really like really, really paying attention. Like what? Like I don't need no pen pal. Like what the fuck? I got X amount of followers. I don't need a pen pal. Like I'm good. Right. So, and then, you know what? I just want to say it wasn't the fact that he wasn't really making time to see me. It's like every time I spoke to him, he was doing stuff that wasn't always music related, but you're traveling. So it's like, bro, 
the fuck are we doing? Like, you know, I could travel. Like, I ain't got no nine to five. Like, I could be outside. But you weren't making time for me. So, like, I just felt like the interest wasn't mutual, whatever the case may be. So, he hit me up today and was like, hey, you know, good morning. I'm like, the fuck, all right, good morning. You know, but I'm traveling also. I'm coming back from Atlanta. So, I wasn't really paying attention. And, like I said, I'm real short because, you know, we're just at this space. And he's like, oh, well, I'm coming to New York at the end of the month. Um, if you have time and you're free, um, I'd like to see you. Um, if not, I understand, just let me know. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, it depends on the day. If I'm, I'm free, like, um, okay, but it depends on the day. But I'm not trying to be shady because I do actually have to fly out again at the end of the month. So we'll see. But I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. <laughs> and yeah, that's that. So I have a question. Yeah. So how, how long does this behavior or, or whatever it is, this little dance I'll be doing have to continue before he loses access to you. Well, I'm not going to lie. In in a, in certain ways, he already has lost access to me. But then why is the conversation even being, like, why, why is this nigga even, like, why entertain the fact that he's going to be able to see you if, the, if it's dead already? Like, you should have just been like, I'm cool. So I think that when we talk about access, we need to talk about levels. Right. Mm -hmm. So not everybody gets penthouse level. Right. So I I will say that when we first started talking, like, yeah, I was feeling him like we were communicating good. He definitely was penthouse. Then he went to like, you know, VIP. Then he went to like regular housing. Now he like on the first floor, like he in a building, but he's definitely on the first floor. So this nigga done dropped five levels in like a month? Yeah. And you're still talking to him? No, I'm not still talking to him. I feel like still not talking to him would be like blocking him. And blocking him is like a criminal offense. I don't block often. I don't. But I do like, I regulate how much access someone has to me. Yeah, I do. So do you don't think that you're sending mixed signals by giving him a... No, because I felt like he understood what I meant. Because he said, if you don't want to, I understand. <laughs> yeah, but now that you're going to see him. So so say you want to see him, right? And you go see him. You're going to carry the energy that you got now. He going to carry the energy like he trying to bag you still. Mm-hmm. Right? Because... Like, why else would he be trying to see you to be friends? Well, I think that's why communication, right? Okay. So, where we are now, right? If I don't hear from him until the end of the month and he like, yo, I'm here or like, yo, I'm coming tomorrow. I'm first I'm not going to be able to make it. <laughs> I'm done. Like, that, like I'm done. But say if like now, like you hit me up more often, we're communicating and we're trying to figure some shit out before then, you're making an effort. Cool, because nobody's perfect. Like, you know, they hung my Jesus on a cross till it died because it wasn't perfect, okay? So, I'm all for second chances. I'm all for people trying to better their behavior and trying to better themselves. But, like, if I just don't hear from you until you get here or until you're on the flight here, no, unfortunately, I'm not going to be But I don't give a fuck if I'm here in Philadelphia or not. I'm I'm not available. No, I'm not. It's crazy. Can't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we're going to get to the edible portions of the show. So the edibles is when we read questions, stories, etc. that you guys may send in. I usually put up a little questions prompt in my stories the day that I record. If what you have to say is too long or if you're thinking of it on a day that I don't put the prompt up, it's okay. All you got to do is email inquiries at stormyppea.com or you can shoot me a DM and get your questions in there as well. So, the first question I wanted to get to today. <laughs> uh, what do you do when you see a man that likes you? No, no, I'm sorry. What do you do when you see a man that you like? Um, y'all, I think I've been very clear in uh, my form, but, you know, shoot or shoot. Um, but I'm not going to lie, y'all. When, when I see a guy that I like, you know, I like shit. And I won't show, <laughs> right? Like, I'm very, uh, uh, at the neck. But I actually got some new shit that I've been trying. Most successful shit. Yeah, y'all better not copy my shit, all right? Or if you do copy it, at least let me know, like, what the response is. Like, if you send somebody this, tell me, right? So my new thing that I do is, uh, like, if I see somebody out on the street, like, you know, I'll come up and I'll be like, excuse me, excuse me. You got somebody to cook for you? And they'll be like, yeah. what? That's crazy. What? With an icebreaker. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. You got somebody to cook for you? Oh, no. You want one? <laughs> Just like that. Just like that. Let me tell you why. I don't care if you got a girlfriend, right? I don't care if you have a girlfriend because that's not what I'm asking. What I'm asking is, do you have someone to cook for you? 
right? I'll cook for you and your bitch, right? Because if you find nine times out of ten, you got a fine friend. So maybe you may be taken. Oh, some but this shit. is my segue in some to the shit. fine friend. There it is. No? No? There it is. No? Okay, it well. Is. Destroy all that shit she was talking about. Why can't I aim at your friend? Because you were looking at the nigga. You were aiming for that nigga. Okay, okay, place. okay. All right. So I do actually care if you have a girlfriend. But my setup is still clear. If you have a girlfriend, you want something like, yo, no, I'm good, sis. I hope your girlfriend at home, you know, cooking for you. But what I'm saying is this new shit, this new shit, yo, you got somebody at home cooking for you. Do you? Technically, That's fellas, different. ask yourselves, fellas, ask yourselves right now. Do you have a woman at home cooking for you? It's cuffing season, baby. It's time for that hearty meal. Them hearty meals, okay? You got somebody making that for you? Your girl know how to make pot roast, okay? Do she? Do she know how to make homemade chunky soup? Do she? She know how to make lasagna? She know how to make baked mac and cheese with the crusty top the way you like? Do mm. she? <laughs> Guess who do? What's up? <laughs> Chef Boy RP. That's what I'm saying. Chef Boy RP put that on the shirt. Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. This is what I'm saying. These are questions you got to ask yourself. It's that time of the year. What you want? You can have as many bad bitches as you want to. But how many of them cooking for you? How many of them cooking that good food for you? Let me know. They make homemade cornbread? Do they? From scratch? Oh, snap. I ain't talking about that Jiffy Box shit. From scratch? Come on. You sure about that? You sure about that? Come on now. Come on. My grandma from South Carolina. What you think I was in this kitchen doing? Collard greens Come from on. the garden or from the can? Come on. Or from the supermarket? D listen. There's levels. Do she even put turkey legs in her collard greens? For real, for real. Do she? Does the top solidify with fat? Do she? <laughs> like, let me know. Does it look like jelly? Let me know. She be making beef ribs for you, babe? Do she? <sighs> you deserve better than that. I would never make you eat no fucking devour hungry man dinners. I would never make you do that. I Hungry wouldn't. man dinners is crazy. <laughs> I don't even eat that shit. <laughs> What's up? What she be doing for you, babe? That's crazy. I wouldn't never Uber Eats for you three times out the week. What's up? What's up? I ain't gonna lie. She got a little bit of money. Cause that's yeah, all I was to say. Like, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie. What's up? Uber Eats, lady. What's up? Let me know. We worried about the wrong Let me thing. know. <laughs> and the lab sports said, you gonna eat your cone bread? <laughs> Real Ace215 says, yo, you real. <laughs> Alphys says, you got someone with the frizzy edges over the stove showing you love? Come on, man. Why you like that? Me33 Hill says, the one that cooked, the one that get the ring. Exactly. Y'all got to listen, ladies. Listen to me, okay? Play smarter, okay? Use your common sense. You got to think outside the box. You got to do what these other ladies ain't doing, okay? You ain't got the fattest ass, okay? That's fine. You don't got to have the best body. That's fine. But can you cook? Cooking is something anybody can pick Being up. regular works. Listen, this is what I'm saying. Like, And, and say you one of them girls is like, yo, I don't know how to cook. Because there's some girls out there like that. I used to be one of them. Like, yo, I just, I don't, I couldn't. It's not that I couldn't cook. I didn't want to cook. I hated the feeling of being domesticated. But like, listen, you, you live and you learn, you grow and you know. Okay? Domesticated. I, I'm not going to lie. Yo, the most I ever cooked was when I was in my last relationship. Like, really, I'm not going to lie. I was one of them girls who would Uber Eats, like, three times a week for me and my son. I might cook every once in a while because my son don't be there on the fucking weekends. So, I really was one of the girls, and I got in this relationship, and then me and old boy start living together. And I'm like, what the fuck is life? Like, this nigga expects you to cook? What is this? Like, the, we was together, like, almost two years, and he only cooked, like, maybe three times, and it was all breakfast food. Like, I, I did not understand what life was at that point. Because I'm like, I have never cooked this much in my life. Never, never, never. But ever since then, I understand. I understood. These niggas like when you cook. <laughs> Especially when it's good. Yeah. Like, so, it's, it's, that's a little trick for y'all. Just just learn how to cook. And I'm not going to lie. If you don't know, like, first of all, go to your auntie house with the meat under her arm right here. Okay? Just sit in the kitchen. Ask if she need help. Just pay attention, baby. All right? It's cute when y'all fuck up there. <laughs> Y'all burn shit is the cutest shit in the world. Like it's it's, it's not cute. It's up he, there with like saying, saying y'all being now, ugly in the supermarket. They saying that like yo, you burn shit is cute, but it's, it's not. It's, it's cute. It's not it's because you know he gonna tell his homeboys. <laughs> this bitch done burnt this shit again. It's not. 
We're it's going not, to the group chat. Stay in the group chat, but with me and exactly. you got going on. Ain't got nothing to do with that. Exactly. Don't don't be fooled, sis. You don't feel that way. All right. So yeah. Anyway, if you don't know how to cute, if you don't know how to cook, go to your auntie that got this meat fat right here under her arms. Sit in the kitchen. Ask her if she needs you to help prep or anything, whatever the case may be. Pay attention. All right. This ain't time to be on your phone taking selfies and videos for the gram. No. Okay. This is recon, bitch. You need to be paying That's attention. Okay. That's crazy. Okay. Or. So every once in a while, Groupon will have like little cooking classes. Now, I'm not saying this is where you're going to learn how to make the mac and cheese with the burnt top. I'm not saying this is where you're going to learn how to make, you know, the homemade cornbread from scratch. But what I am saying is this is where you can pick up how to make a fire little pasta, nice little homemade sauce, because niggas be impressed when you make the Alfredo, but you don't get the Alfredo from the jar. They like that. OK, so this is where you can pick up some of those skills. All right. They might even show you how to sear a steak and not well done okay they're gonna show you how to do it medium medium well something with a little class okay spice it up all right show you what wines to pair ready he's gonna be thinking you some type of fancy bitch you gotta educate yourself okay and i feel like that's something that we don't really pay attention to we don't talk about like the same way we have like these mommy and me classes and like these uh lamas classes for when we're about to give birth or we have books for when we're about to have our first child. I think we need to have some type of education for like, yo, training to be a wife. <laughs> or like training to be a good girlfriend. Because there's some things that we really don't know. Especially if you were spoiled growing up. If you were spoiled growing up, you really don't know or care much about cooking. Other people's feelings. Budgets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you were spoiled... If you were spoiled, you 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 playing you playing on different fields, sis. I ain't gonna lie, you got a little bit of a disadvantage. So, yeah, especially if you were spoiled on one of them homes where like your dad absolutely adorned you and your mama and your sisters. What? I ain't gonna hold you, sis. You 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 playing at disadvantage. It's a rap for my kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't even gotten on yet. Come on. It's so, a super rap. Yeah. Another thing I feel like um another place you can find out how to cook TikTok and YouTube. They'll yeah. show you like cute little Benjamin stuff. Binging with Babish go crazy. What is it? Binging with Babish. Binging with Babish? That's yeah. like a cooking channel? Yeah. Hmm. That's well. how I learn how to cook. Binging with Babish? And Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Not channel. Gordon Ramsay. I feel like he's going to be yelling. I don't no, want to No, no. He, he chilling. Okay. He be at his house and shit, so I don't. <laughs> All right. You know what? <laughs> okay. Survival, <laughs> whatever. All right. Okay. Um, But yeah, man. That's, that's, that's something that I would want y'all to tap into and pay attention to. Um, So the next... Um, going through a breakup, how do I activate my inner bad bitch and stop my sad girl era? <sighs> Sis, I want you to know from the bottom of my heart, I've been there before and it is not easy. But what I will say is whatever you do, don't post a bunch of sad quotes. He don't care. <laughs> he don't care. He ain't going to read it. He don't care. All right. Next. Do not post a bunch of half-naked selfies. I know. I know, sis. You want to show him what he missing. I know. You want to show him that you're still a bad bitch and you getting niggas. Even if you did block him, you know his friend's going to see it and he going to send it to him. I know, right? Don't do that. <laughs> you want to show off something I've been seeing for the last two years? That's crazy. Like That what? is probably the worst thing that you do, okay? I, I know it might heal some small part of like some small void inside you and you think you're really doing that shit, but it's going to do more harm than it is like good anyway. So I'm going to say, don't do that. What I do suggest is you need to take part in extreme self care. You need to do things that make you feel good for you, whether it be getting a new book, whether it be taking a bath, whether it be starting a new yoga class, self care looks different to everybody. What does it look like to you? On the other side of that, we don't talk about how when you break up with somebody, especially somebody that you've been with for a long time, bitch, you are grieving. <laughs> like that's a real thing. Like breakups are actual losses and they're, you're losing someone that you spent a majority of your time with for the past year, for the past few months, whatever the case may be. So you have to go through a grieving process. Like a lot of people say, Oh, the best way to get over somebody is get under somebody else. Oh, that ain't snap. it. <laughs> That ain't it, baby. Oh, you got to grieve, you got to heal, and you got to invest in you. All especially, right? Especially when the relationship, if if it was toxic, if you call it toxic, like, I don't, I don't think that people take yeah. the time to understand that even through all that toxicity or whatever, 
it's still somebody that you miss. So you're, you still Absolutely. have that going on. And I don't, I don't think people pay attention to that part. Absolutely. And, and honestly, it don't matter. Like say y'all broke up on bad terms. Say he did you wrong. I don't care how bad he did you, how dumb he made you look. You're still going to miss him. And still that's L. okay. Yeah. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't miss him. You're not allowed to miss him. You're dumb if you miss him. No. Like, that's normal. You, If you don't miss him, you might be a sociopath. <laughs> because the emotions aren't connecting. <laughs> like, like I said before, therapy, self-care, healing, all of the above. That's And, and to me, that's how you get over a bad breakup. Um, so, next. Um... Uh, what's your definition of a good slash great date? What's your definition of a good slash great date? I'm not gonna lie. A good date is like, yo, did we finish the date? <laughs> because even those are few far in between, right? But a great date, a great date to me is, am I thinking about the next date before this date is over? Like, if we're like, you know, halfway through the entree and I'm like, damn. All right. So I know I'm free Tuesday, Thursday. I got therapy, but I might be able to move somewhere. Say like, yo, what's up? Am I moving too fast? <laughs> is that like, is, is that like, a thing? Like, no. am I too fast for even thinking this right now? Not like, exactly. Okay. Like if you're asking yourself like, damn, am I tripping for one to see him already? Like, yo, it's a good date. Yeah. You're enjoying yourself. Now, does that automatically mean the opposite party is doing the same? <laughs> But I do think that to me, a great date is me trying to figure out the next time I'm going to see you before the first date is even over. Or like, I'm not going to lie. If we're like out and we're having a good time and I'm like, damn, I'm not really ready for the night to end or I'm not really ready for this outing to end. Hey, you, you want to go get some ice cream? Something small, something simple. I'm cool. I'm good for a secondary location. Like, yo, you. You got to go like right now, right now. No, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Well, you want to take a quick walk with me? Yo, like, that's my line. Yo, you see? A walk for you hit the car. Like, like yo, like, like this food real you want, you, yeah, you want to walk up some calories. Like you want to take a quick walk. You want to go get some ice cream. Like what's up? Like to me, all those are good dates. Like it's, it's, it's a follow up there. We're having a good time. We're enjoying each other's company. Blah, 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 blah. Now, some people will say like, yo, your first date shouldn't be that long. Um, blah, 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 blah. It's same, same, same. Like, mm, mm. <laughs> Listen, I, whatever. It is what it is. Whatever. Um, okay. Uh, biggest misconception that people assume about you. Yo, y'all really be thinking like, I'm just this toxic ass savage bad bitch and it's like i can always tell the people on the internet who don't listen to the podcast they just watch the clips on the internet or they watch what i put on like my actual page in toxic clips because i'm like bro that ain't even me for real <laughs> that is not me that's not me i am a whale watching anime loving okay pickle eating <laughs> okay doofus for real like i i i am a fucking museum loving uh, pink color wearing, okay, want to be Power Ranger ass, like, that's just not me, but I appreciate all of you who think I'm a bad bitch, thank you, thank you, how you think I be knowing about the nerds and shit, because I'm here, <laughs> I be seeing, <laughs> y'all don't be believing me though, so, yeah, <laughs> all right, y'all, listen, um, today's been a great episode, things that we have discussed, number one, I don't care what the temperature is outside. It's October and you whores need to put on them sweatpants. Oh, shit. You know what time it is. You know why we here. Stop playing. All right. Second thing. From now on, I need y'all to call me Popovich P. Every time y'all talking about women shouldn't take married advice from single women. Please remember, coaches don't play. All right. From now on, call me Popovich P because I am Greg Popovich. Let's get it. Let's get it. Call me Coach P because I am Greg Popovich. All right? Thank you. Next thing we discussed today. Consistency is king. No, you are not going to text me once a day like I'm a multivitamin. No. <laughs> You're not going to hit me up once a day like I'm a vitamin. It's not going to happen. 
all right? Especially when, as a kid, even I was trying to sneak in at least two Flintstone vitamins. Like, damn, baby, what's up? What's up, all right? Next thing, um, if a woman asks you, what are we doing? Nine times out of ten, there's another man sniffing around and she just wanted to know, what are y'all doing for sure so that she's not being disrespectful. So, yeah, that's that. And, um, yeah, before we get out of here, I got one more thing I want to say. It's very, very, very important. Uh, listen, y'all, my homie Clint Coley, he just released a comedy special on YouTube tonight uh, at 9 p.m., Thursday, October 5th. By the time you're hearing this, it's going to be October 6th, so it's already out. Go on YouTube, type in Clint Coley Stand Up. Or type in, uh, my edible just kicked in. That's the name of his special. It's funny as fuck. Um, I'm so proud of him. I'm not going to lie, man. I, I love seeing my friends do great things. And I'm always going to promote it. I'm always going to push it. Because that's what friends are supposed to do. Um, that's it. Make sure you guys go on YouTube and check out Clint Coley's special. My edible just kicked in. And yeah, my message is always on the same. Uh, follow me on the gram at Stormy P P E A uh, at Chocolate Chip and Sip. And if you don't remember anything else, please remember. You got a girl at home to cook for you? <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you next week. Peace. <laughs>